Okay, let's try this again. So I wanted to talk to you guys face to face about what I posted last Friday. I had a little bit of a rough night <laughs> and that kind of thing happens. Uh, well, it wasn't so much of a rough night as it was a shitty night that had a bunch of shit leading up to it. So we're going to talk about that. Um, I've been doing music for about 10 years over that actually. And it's definitely become a part of who I am. I don't have to tell you that. I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, but as of late, I have been getting a little discouraged. I think a lot of that has to do with the way of the world and how we're kind of at each other's throats right now. I've written songs about this and I talk about it in my live show before I play the TV and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I've had a lot of conflicting things going on in my head and every time I log on to Facebook, everyone's fighting with each other and I have to use Facebook for the music thing, you know, because I'm promoting the open mics and promoting shows, promoting songs, albums, videos, what have you. So every time I log on to do something like that, I, I see two of my friends on the opposite side of the spectrum, you know, basically just slinging shit at one another and not actually, you know, moving forward. You know, I, I think it's healthy that we debate. I think we have to debate. I think we have to talk about these things. But what it seems that we haven't really been doing is actually hearing each other. We're, we're all about speaking our opinion. We don't want to hear about other people's opinions or their reasons behind them. Uh, I think some of that comes down to intolerance. I think some of it comes to misunderstanding. Whatever the case may be, we've been at each other's throats for a long time, and I think that has started to take a toll on me. Another thing that's been kind of bothering me a bit is the fact that when we do play out, it's, it's kind of empty. And in, in the defense of, of everybody, you know, we're socially distancing right now. I get that. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'm all for it. Better safe than sorry is how I look at all of this whole thing. So I've had people message me asking me, how dare I play shows? <laughs> I'm like, what? And I've had people asking me why I'm not playing more shows. So I'm kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't there, which I can deal with. And then I've been trying to do these weekly videos, which I'm still keeping up with, by the way. So between all of that, and, uh, you know, I do give this my all. Uh, music means the world to me. And I'll be honest with you, I want to make it my career one day. Uh, I'm perfectly fine in my day job. I'm very happy where I'm at. I have really good people that I work with. And, you know, I, I can pay my bills. So we're good there. Uh, I'll be totally fine if I don't make it in music. However, I'd be happier if I could just wake up in the morning and create and record and, and such. So that's always been a dream of mine to, you know, be free of the day job thing and just live to make music. I don't think I'm, you know, saying anything crazy there. I know a lot of people have that same dream or have a similar dream with something other than music, maybe you love to write or, 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 or are an, uh, an artist or anything like that. I think all of us have passions that we would rather spend all day with rather than driving to work somewhere, you know? So, uh, lately it's just seemed impossible. Uh, it, it's hard to get gigs. It, it, people don't really buy music anymore. They want to stream it, which again, fine and good. I understand. I, I use Spotify, so I can't be mad at people for streaming. Uh, and I'm on streaming services, so if I really didn't want you to stream, I wouldn't put my shit on Spotify. So thank you to everybody who does, uh, you know, add me to playlists on Spotify and Apple Music. I'm all for that, um, I, even though obviously the pay is low for those kind of things. I'm not here for the money, uh, uh, even though ultimately for my dream to come true, I do need to make money. But if I don't, I'm good with it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm in the parking lot of my day job now on my lunch break. I'm happy here. You know, I, I work for very good people, so I'm not unlucky by any means. It's just that lately I've been chasing the stream and I've been putting the work in. And I, on Friday, I was like, you know what? I was getting ready for that live session that I had scheduled. And equipment just wasn't working. Uh, the mixer wasn't outputting the right signal. Uh, I've, I, I was clicking all of the buttons and, you know, it's, it's supposed to work. I looked up YouTube tutorials on how to do this and I'm doing everything it says and it's just not working. And I got really frustrated and I wanted to bounce my mixer off the ground. I didn't, but I wanted to. And at that point I thought to myself, like, no one's watching the shit anyway. Um, and you know, I'm not, I don't think my dream's ever going to come true and I have a perfectly good day job. 
I might as well just go work at my day job, come home and relax rather than coming home and putting in work and trying to figure out what I'm going to shoot for a video and practicing my live set and, you know, getting ready to record live streams or whatever. Rather than doing that for people to not care, why don't I just go home, spend some time with my wife, kick back on the couch, pet my dog, watch TV, play video games, whatever. And that was kind of the mindset I had on Friday. Now, after Friday, I had a show the next night at Helltown Brewing with Steve Hawk, who I know a lot of you are familiar with. And Helltown was packed. We had a really good time. Uh, the crowd was real into it. The crowd always gets real into Steve Hawk because he, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to work the crowd. Shout outs to you, Steve. You're the man. But uh, the crowd was vibing with me as well. Uh, I talked to a lot of people there and I had a really good time. It was quite a revitalizing experience. Uh, I'm not going to ever leave music 100%. Uh, I'm not even thinking of leaving music even remotely close to that, if that makes sense. Because it is part of who I am. And I will do this forever, whether it's a career or not. Uh, but I wanted to be transparent with you guys. I, there has been some depression. There has been some anger. I've been discouraged. I'm working on getting through it. That's what the post was about, was just being discouraged and dis depressed. And I know a lot of you guys probably deal with that kind of thing too. I know I'm not alone in that. And so many of you reached out to me. Thank you guys. Uh, you guys made sure I was all right. You guys told me to never give up. Um, you know, you guys are really supportive. I didn't actually realize I had that many people paying attention to what I was doing and it's heartwarming and uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you for that. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I just wanted to say mainly that, mainly that it means a lot to me that you guys reached out and also that I'm not going anywhere. I had a rough couple weeks. I was letting anger get the best of me. I was kind of down in the dumps in general. I did get some news about my grandfather being in the hospital. He's still in the hospital, so keep him in your thoughts. I know I'm keeping him in mind, and it is, it's weighing on me a bit, but, um, you know, He's another one, always very supportive, always at shows, always pulling for me, and he means a lot to me. He was the one who, you know, taught me how to put a worm on a hook and took me camping and all that kind of shit. I'm not really much of a fisherman now, but uh, back when I was a kid, I lived for spending time with my grandfather. I still do. I just don't really like fishing that much. It's not really my thing. Um, anyway, I'm getting off topic. I love you guys. Thank you. I'm here. I, I can't really say I'm back because I only went away for like five days so I mean it was like a mini vacation but I needed it I spent some time away from social media and I'm here to tell you guys that I'm going to retry the live stream this Friday if it starts pissing me off I'm just gonna stop <laughs> uh, I might do a simple one on my phone just like what I'm doing here and uh, you know not worry about how it sounds but uh, nonetheless I'm gonna do something on Friday and then the regularly scheduled videos will be resuming in February i uh, going to continue to do those weekly. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps. YouTube.com slash C slash Brad Abbott Music. Uh, and a lot of you guys already follow my Instagram and shit. So, But YouTube's the big one. Uh, and you can catch me on all your streaming platforms. So we got new songs coming up. A new version of Worn Out Shoes, an acoustic version, that's going to be featured on Song Stories in February. So look for that. That'll be available on the website, of course. And we just did a studio breakdown of Vivian that talks about the making of that and... You know what all went into that what kind of layers were involved in that so if you're into learning about how vivian was made in the studio check that out as well but i'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now thank you guys for being so supportive and reaching out with a hand to kind of lift me out of the dumps i was in i'm getting there there's still some work to be done uh i have managed to kind of curb the anger problems those have been quite prevalent but i've managed to you know stop hitting doors and stop wanting to bounce mixers off of floors so that's a, that's a start and uh, we're getting there Anyone who's dealing with this kind of thing, I want you to know that you can get there too. Just put your mind to it and really kind of think about things in perspective. Think about what you love. And if something is taking a lot out of you and, it, and you're seizing to love it, it's time to t at least take a break. And uh, if at the end of that break you still don't love it, then maybe you didn't love it in the first place. But music is definitely part of who I am. Uh, the day after I posted that, when I was at Helltown, I was like, I was going to give this up. Yeah. I don't think so. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon.